If you watched our video last week, we talked about these click bond studs which we use to mount hardware in the Dark Arrow 1. And one of the questions we got asked was, after they get bonded in, uh, what do you do if you want to remove them? Uh, let's say the positioning is incorrect or it's slightly off. Uh, what do you do? So uh, today I want to kind of go through the steps uh, that click bond recommends for removing the studs. I've actually never gone through the process to remove a click bond stud before. So I'm kind of curious myself as to how difficult this might be. Uh, so yeah, just follow along and we'll see what that's like. So the process at a high level is pretty simple. All you're doing is providing a heat source, in this case a heat gun, to warm the adhesive up to a critical temperature where you can take a set of pliers and basically just force the stud up off the adhesive that will be softened from the higher temperatures. All right, so I'm just about ready to get started here. One thing I want to mention before I get going is that I'm going to be protecting the surrounding composite with this fireproof blanket. And the way we'll do that is just by nesting this on top of our setup. That way, as we heat it up, we aren't going to damage anything around the stud as it heats up. So what will happen next is I'll get the heat gun in here and get the stud warmed up to 200F. Let that run for about 30 seconds and then hopefully uh, it'll be soft enough where we can take our pliers and pull up our stud. All right, so there you have it, the process to remove a click bond stud. Very simple, as you can see, uh, only requires a few tools, and yeah, I'm pretty surprised by how easy that all was. I was kind of concerned that uh, these studs were pretty permanent and would require a ton of force to get off if you made a mistake. So I'll be leaving the full instructions for how to remove them in the description below. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. But otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video.